With the distinctive wagons encircling the outfield, 989 Sports welcomes you to the range. Wagon Man Stadium, the site for this special edition of Major League Baseball. Coming up, a rematch of the 2004 World Series, as it'll be the St. Louis Cardinals taking on the Boston Red Sox. And hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here with you as we get set for what promises to be an entertaining ball game. Dave Campbell is by my side. And, partner, what's the one thing we can watch for in this one? Well, Matt, the Red Sox didn't have much trouble dispatching the Cardinals in four games in last year's World Series. So you have to figure that for the time being, they've got St. Louis's number. Let's see if they can keep it up. All right, Dave, thanks. As now that brings us to our starting lineups in this one. First, for the visit. <laughs> With the skyline of Gotham behind us, 989 Sports welcomes you to the spanking new Blue River Stadium for this special edition of Major League Baseball. Today, Interleague Baseball on tap as it'll be the St. Louis Cardinals taking on the Baltimore Orioles. And hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here with you as we get set for what promises to be an entertaining ball game. Dave Campbell is by my side. And partner, what's the one thing we can watch for in this one? Well, I'm going to be eager to see how Sammy Sosa responds. Remember, last season was a trying one for him in the Windy City, but he was determined this offseason to return to the Sammy of old. Let's see how he fares in this one. All right, thanks, Dave. As now that brings us to the starting lineups in this one. First, for the defending National League champion, St. Louis Cardinals.
Now from the foot of the Rocky Mountains, 989 Sports welcomes you to Laughing Mountain Park as we get you set for this special high-altitude edition of Major League Baseball. We've got interleague action on tap for you today as it'll be the Colorado Rockies taking on the Chicago White Sox. Hello again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here to take you through this one. With me, as always, is Dave Campbell. And, Soup, you've been doing this a long time. What catches your eye when you look at a matchup like this? Matt, I'd like you to keep an eye on how Paul Konerko swings the bat. This guy rebounded from an offseason in 2003 to hit 41 homers, and that tied for second in the AL last year. Let's see if he can get the long ball working here. All right, Dave, thank you. As now we get a look at our starting lineup for the visiting... Now, from America's heartland, we come to you this afternoon from newly built Crop Circle Field as 989 Sports is proud to bring you a special edition of Major League Baseball. Today, Interleague Baseball on tap as it'll be the Los Angeles Dodgers taking on the Cleveland Indians. Hello again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here with my partner Dave Campbell as we get set for what should be a good one. And Soup, what'll be the one thing we can keep an eye on in this one? Matt, I'm going to be interested to get another look at Victor Martinez. I mean, I heard all about him coming up through the minors, and it sure didn't take long to get adjusted to Major League Pitching. He had 108 RBIs last year, and he's going to be a great one. All right, thank you, Dave. And as we move closer to the first pitch, let's check out the starting lineup for the defending National League Western Division champs the last afternoon. And 
and a good look there at one of the best settings in the country to play baseball. We are under clear skies this afternoon at Red Rock Canyon Stadium as we get set for a special edition of Major League Baseball. Interleague Baseball set to come your way as it'll be the Los Angeles Dodgers taking on the Seattle Mariners. And hi again, everybody. Alongside Dave Campbell, I'm Matt Vaskersian as we get set to bring you the call of what should be a pretty good one here. And, Soup, before we get going, what are you going to keep your eye on in this one? Well, obviously, a big key will be trying to keep Ichiro off the bases. We all followed it along last year as he obliterated the record for most hits in a season. I think you can live with giving him two hits, but you can't let him have three, four, or even five. All right, thank you, Dave. And as we move closer to the first pitch, let's check out the starting lineup for the defending National League Western Division champs, the Los Angeles Dodgers. the side of a giant Ferris wheel looming over us in center field. We're in the heart of Florida, Baseball City, as temperatures are in the 80s for this preseason edition of Major League Baseball. Coming up, we've got a battle, and I mean battle, between a couple of neighbors here in the Big Apple and a rematch of the 2000 World Series, as it'll be the New York Mets taking on the New York Yankees. Hello again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here with my partner, Dave Campbell, as we get set for what should be a good one. And, Soup, what will be the one thing we can keep an eye on in this one? Well, Matt, anytime you see the 6'10 big unit on the hill, you know you're in for a tough game. Even though he's in his 40s, this guy can still dominate better than pitchers half his age. All right, Dave, now let's check out our starting lineup and see how the visiting New York Mets... <laughs>
With the familiar palm trees encircling the outfield, that could mean we are at one place, West Palm Beach, Florida, as 989 Sports gets you set for this preseason edition of Major League Baseball. We've got interleague action on tap for you today, as it'll be the San Francisco Giants taking on the Detroit Tigers. And hi again, everybody. Alongside Dave Campbell, I'm Matt Vaskersian as we get set to bring you the call of what should be a pretty good one here. And, Soup, before we get going, what are you going to keep your eye on in this one? Well, any talk about the catcher's position in Major League Baseball still begins and ends with Pudge Rodriguez. Until he proves otherwise, he's still the best overall catcher in baseball. 11 goal gloves is an all-time record for catchers. All right, Dave, and as you see, it's time for our starting lineups as we check out the order for the visiting San Francisco. First bench, 110. With the familiar saguaro cactuses and red rocks of Arizona in the distance, we come to you this afternoon from Tempe, where hot temperatures are in the forecast for this preseason edition of Major League Baseball. We've got a good one on tap here, as it'll be the Kansas City Royals taking on the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. And hi again, everybody. Alongside Dave Campbell, I'm Matt Vaskersian as we get set to bring you the call of what should be a pretty good one here. And, Soup, before we get going, what are you going to keep your eye on in this one? Matt, let's see if Bartolo Colon is up to the challenge. He's always had that good fastball, but he gets in trouble when he leaves it up in the zone. Keep an eye on where he's spotting his pitches in the early going. All right, Dave, and now let's check out the starting lineup for the visiting Kansas City Royals. Any places in baseball say spring training quite like this place does as 989 Sports welcomes you to Vero Beach, Florida for this preseason edition of Major League Baseball. 
today. Interleague Baseball on tap as it'll be the Houston Astros taking on the Minnesota Twins. And hi again, everybody. Alongside Dave Campbell, I'm Matt Vaskersian as we get set to bring you the call of what should be a pretty good one here. And Soup, before we get going, what are you going to keep your eye on in this one? Well, obviously, Johan Santana will be worth watching here. This guy was absolutely lights out in the second half last year, and we'll see if it carries over to this season. All right, Dave, thanks. As now we get a look at the batting order for the visiting Houston Astros. With the beautiful Red Rock formations behind us in the outfield, 989 Sports welcomes you to Northern Arizona, where we're expecting a hot one this afternoon for this preseason edition of Major League Baseball. We've got a good one on tap here, as it'll be the Arizona Diamondbacks taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. Hello again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here to take you through this one. With me, as always, is Dave Campbell. And, Soup, you've been doing this a long time. What catches your eye when you look at a matchup like this? Well, anytime you get a chance to watch Jim Tomey swing the bat, pay attention, because this guy is about as good a power hitter as there is in the game today. Here's a guy that hit 42 homers a year ago, and some people were calling it an off year. He is definitely a good one. All right, Dave, thanks. And that'll lead us right to our starting lineups as we check out the order for the visiting Arizona Diamond. The sun is out as we get a look from high atop one of the most picturesque stadiums in all of baseball, Oriole Park here in Baltimore as 989 Sports gets set to bring you another edition of Major League Baseball. 
Today, an American League Eastern Division battle as it'll be the Boston Red Sox taking on the Baltimore Orioles. And hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here with you as we get set for what promises to be an entertaining ball game. Dave Campbell is by my side. And partner, what's the one thing we can watch for in this one? Well, Matt, we got ourselves a marquee pitching match up here, so we could be looking at a real duel here. I think the key is going to be getting a run or two on the board in the early going because they almost certainly will be hard to come by. All right, Dave, thank you. Now let's check out the starting lineup for the visiting ball. Mark, double ball. Nine sports coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air as we welcome you from venerable Fenway Park here in Boston on what's shaping up to be a gorgeous afternoon for baseball. Today, an American League Eastern Division battle as it'll be the New York Yankees taking on the Boston Red Sox. And hi again, everybody. Alongside Dave Campbell, I'm Matt Vaskersian as we get set to bring you the call of what should be a pretty good one here. And Soup, before we get going, what are you going to keep your eye on in this one? Well, Matt, right off the bat, the thing that leaps out at me is our pitching matchup. We've got two of the best in the business, and it's going to be interesting to see who gets the upper hand. All right, Dave, thanks. And that'll bring us to our starting lineup for the visiting... And a good look right there at perhaps the most storied ballpark in baseball history. Yankee Stadium here in the Bronx as 989 sports coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. 
Today, an American League Eastern Division battle as it'll be the Tampa Bay Devil Rays taking on the New York Yankees. And hello again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here to call balls and strikes. Alongside me, my partner Dave Campbell. And Dave, what should we keep an eye on in this matchup? Well, Matt, anytime you see the 6'10 big unit on the hill, you know you're in for a tough game. Even though he's in his 40s, this guy can still dominate better than pitchers half his age. All right, Dave, now that'll take us to our starting lineup for the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. And a pleasant evening to you as we welcome you inside Tropicana Field here at St. Petersburg as 989 Sports presents another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, a good matchup for you in the AL East as it'll be the Toronto Blue Jays taking on the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. And hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here with you as we get set for what promises to be an entertaining ball game. Dave Campbell is by my side. And, partner, what's the one thing we can watch for in this one? One guy I'm pretty eager to take more of a look at is Carl Crawford. This guy's really starting to draw some attention in baseball circles because of that incredible speed. Last year, he made his first All-Star appearance, and from what I've seen, it could be the first of many. All right, Dave, and that brings us to our starting lineup as the visiting Toronto Blue Jays lineup...
the sun is out and the roof is open as 989 Sports is proud to welcome you to Toronto, Canada. We're at Sky Dome as we get ready for this edition of Major League Baseball. We've got a good matchup in store for you here as it'll be the Chicago White Sox taking on the Toronto Blue Jays. And hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here to bring you the action. With me, as always, is my partner Dave Campbell. And Dave, what leaps out at you when you look at this matchup? Matt, I'd like you to keep an eye on how Paul Konerko swings the bat. This guy rebounded from an offseason in 2003 to hit 41 homers, and that tied for second in the AL last year. Let's see if he can get the long ball working here. All right, Soup, and now we'll get a look at our starting lineup for the visiting Chicago White... is out and it's a perfect day for baseball here on Chicago's south side as 989 Sports welcomes you to U.S. Cellular Field for this edition of Major League Baseball. Today we've got a couple of AL Central clubs ready to do battle as it'll be the Cleveland Indians taking on the Chicago White Sox. And hello again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here to call balls and strikes alongside me, my partner Dave Campbell. And Dave, what should we keep an eye on in this matchup? Matt, I'd like you to keep an eye on how Paul Konerko swings the bat. This guy rebounded from an offseason in 2003 to hit 41 homers, and that tied for second in the AL last year. Let's see if he can get the long ball working here. All right, David, thank you. Now let's check out our starting lineup. First for the visiting Cleveland Indian.
Friday Nine Sports coverage of Major League Baseball brings us to the shores of Lake Erie, Jacobs Field here in Cleveland, as we get set for some afternoon baseball. Today, we've got a couple of AL Central clubs ready to do battle, as it'll be the Detroit Tigers taking on the Cleveland Indians. And hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here with you as we get set for what promises to be an entertaining ball game. Dave Campbell is by my side. And, partner, what's the one thing we can watch for in this one? Matt, I'm going to be interested to get another look at Victor Martinez. I mean, I heard all about him coming up through the minors, and it sure didn't take long to get adjusted to Major League pitching. He had 108 RBIs last year, and he's going to be a great one. All right, Dave, thanks. Now let's check out the starting lineup for your original club, the Detroit... We are a little over a mile from legendary Tiger Stadium at the new home of the Tigers, Comerica Park here in Detroit, as it'll be the site for this edition of Major League Baseball, presented by 989 Sports. Today, we've got a couple of AL Central clubs ready to do battle, as it'll be the Kansas City Royals taking on the Detroit Tigers. And hello again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here to call balls and strikes. Alongside me, my partner Dave Campbell. And Dave, what should we keep an eye on in this matchup? Well, any talk about the catcher's position in Major League Baseball still begins and ends with Pudge Rodriguez. Until he proves otherwise, he's still the best overall catcher in baseball. 11 gold gloves is an all-time record for catchers. All right, Dave. And now let's check out the starting lineup for the visiting Kansas City. Here.
989 Sports welcomes you to Kansas City, Missouri on a gorgeous afternoon for baseball. We're at Kauffman Stadium to bring you this edition of Major League Baseball. Today, we've got a couple of AL Central clubs ready to do battle as it'll be the Minnesota Twins taking on the Kansas City Royals. And hello again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here to call balls and strikes. Alongside me, my partner Dave Campbell. And Dave, what should we keep an eye on in this matchup? Well, Matt, it just seems you can't say the name Mike Sweeney without throwing in the word underrated in there somewhere. But this guy still continues to tear the cover off the ball. He may not get all the accolades, but I'll bet he has a big say in this one. All right, Dave, thanks. And that'll lead us to our starting lineup. First for the visiting... It is an unusually warm night here in the Twin Cities, but thankfully we are inside the Hubert H. Humphrey Metrodome as 989 Sports welcomes you to this edition of Major League Baseball. We've got a good matchup in store for you here as it'll be the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim taking on the Minnesota Twins. Hello again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here with my partner Dave Campbell as we get set for what should be a good one. And Soup, what'll be the one thing we can keep an eye on in this one? Well, Matt, right off the bat, the thing that leaps out at me is our pitching matchup. We've got two of the best in the business, and it's going to be interesting to see who gets the upper hand. All right, Dave, thank you, as that leads us to our starting lineup for the newly named Los Angeles Angels of Anna.
Good crowd expected this afternoon as you get a look from high above Angel Stadium of Anaheim as 989 Sports gets set to bring you another edition of Major League Baseball. Straight ahead, bragging rights for California's American League franchises as it'll be the Oakland A's taking on the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. And hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here to bring you the action. With me, as always, is my partner Dave Campbell. And Dave, what leaps out at you when you look at this matchup? Matt, let's see if Bartolo Colon is up to the challenge. He's always had that good fastball, but he gets in trouble when he leaves it up in the zone. Keep an eye on where he's spotting his pitches in the early going. All right, Dave, thank you. Now it's time for our starting lineups as the visiting Oakland Athletics lineup this week. Catcher, Jason Kendo. been the home of the A's for more than 35 years and today the Network Associates Coliseum is home to this edition of Major League Baseball presented by 989 Sports. Today a good matchup from the American League West as it'll be the Seattle Mariners taking on the Oakland A's. And hi again everybody Matt Vaskersian here with you as we get set for what promises to be an entertaining ball game. Dave Campbell is by my side and partner what's the one thing we can watch for in this one? Well, I'm going to be interested in getting another look at Bobby Crosby because he was tremendous in his Rookie of the Year season last year, but he's going to need to avoid the dreaded sophomore slump. Let's see what he can do here. All right, Dave, now what do you say we take a look at our starting lineup as the visiting Mariners line the game here? Crazy win.
With the Seattle skyline behind us, we're at lovely Safeco Field this afternoon. No rain in the forecast, just clear skies for this edition of Major League Baseball. Today, a good matchup from the American League West, as it'll be the Texas Rangers taking on the Seattle Mariners. Hello again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here to take you through this one. With me, as always, is Dave Campbell. And, Soup, you've been doing this a long time. What catches your eye when you look at a matchup like this? Well, Matt, right off the bat, the thing that leaps out at me is our pitching matchup. We've got two of the best in the business, and it's going to be interesting to see who gets the upper hand. All right, Dave, and now it's time to check out our starting lineup as the visiting Texas Rangers will line up as... It is a warm afternoon for baseball as we welcome you deep into the heart of Texas. We're at the newly named AmeriQuest Field in Arlington for this edition of Major League Baseball. Interleague Baseball set to come your way as it'll be the Atlanta Braves taking on the Texas Rangers. And hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here to bring you the action. With me, as always, is my partner Dave Campbell. And Dave, what leaps out at you when you look at this matchup? Well, Matt, right off the bat, the thing that leaps out at me is our pitching matchup. We've got two of the best in the business, and it's going to be interesting to see who gets the upper hand. All right, Dave, now time to check out the starting lineup for the visiting Atlanta Braves and their order. And even into his 40s now, the gambler still got a little giddy up on that fastball.
Southern skies are clear, and it's a great afternoon for baseball at Turner Field, Atlanta, as 989 Sports gets set for another edition of Major League Baseball. Today, it's a battle of NL East rivals, as it'll be the Florida Marlins taking on the Atlanta Braves. And hi again, everybody. Alongside Dave Campbell, I'm Matt Vaskersian, as we get set to bring you the call of what should be a pretty good one here. And, Soup, before we get going, what are you going to keep your eye on in this one? Tim Hudson's pitch arsenal is one of the best in baseball. He's got any number of pitches he can throw for strikes, but it's his splitter that's his bona fide out pitch. Expect to see a lot of ground balls in this one. All right, Dave. Now let's get to our starting lineup as the visiting Florida Marlins. It's played host to three Super Bowls, but this afternoon it's all about baseball at the newly renamed Dolphin Stadium here in Miami as 989 Sports brings you another edition of Major League Baseball. Today it's a battle of NL East rivals as it'll be the Washington Nationals taking on the Florida Marlins. 
And hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here with you as we get set for what promises to be an entertaining ball game. Dave Campbell is by my side. And, partner, what's the one thing we can watch for in this one? Well, Matt, Josh Beckett gets the call here after a very disappointing 2004 season. If everything went right for him in 2003, everything went wrong for him last year. My sense is he's too good a pitcher to stay down for long. All right, Dave, thanks. And that'll lead right to our starting lineup as the Washington Nationals will... Well, there hasn't been baseball in Washington, D.C. for 33 years, but the wait is over as we welcome everybody to RFK Stadium in our nation's capital for this edition of Major League Baseball presented by 989 Sports. Today, it's a battle of NL East rivals as it'll be the New York Mets taking on the Washington Nationals. And hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here to bring you the action. With me, as always, is my partner Dave Campbell. And Dave, what leaps out at you when you look at this matchup? Matt, I'm going to be eager to get a look at the progress of Jose Vidro this year. He was one of the most underrated hitters the past five years or so, but injuries robbed him the second half of 2004. If he's 100%, he can be a big boost to his ball club. All right, Dave, now let's check out our starting lineup and see how the visiting New York Mets...
It's been the home of the New York Metropolitan since 1964. Shea Stadium here in Flushing, New York, as it'll play host to afternoon baseball here on the 989 Sports Network. Today, it's a battle of NL East rivals, as it'll be the Philadelphia Phillies taking on the New York Mets. And hi again, everybody. Alongside Dave Campbell, I'm Matt Vaskersian as we get set to bring you the call of what should be a pretty good one here. And, Soup, before we get going, what are you going to keep your eye on in this one? Well, Matt, it's going to be interesting to see which Pedro Martinez shows up for this one. Will we see the Superman that dominated hitters the past decade, or will we see the one that became somewhat mortal down the stretch and in the postseason last year? All right, Dave, thank you. Now let's have a look at our starting lineup. The Phillies will look like this. Opened April of 2004, and today the sun is shining over Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia as 989 Sports gets set to bring you another edition of Major League Baseball. We've got a good matchup in store for you here as it'll be the Chicago Cubs taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. Hello again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here with my partner Dave Campbell as we get set for what should be a good one. And Soup, what'll be the one thing we can keep an eye on in this one? Well, when this place opened in 2004, Matt, I don't think anyone expected Citizen Bank to be as great a hitter's park as it turned out to be. I mean, balls just fly out of this place at times, so we could be looking at an offensive explosion in this one. All right, Dave, thank you. And now we'll come to our starting lineup as we check out the order for the visiting... Chicago hot dogs. 
Well, when you think of afternoon baseball, you think of one place, Wrigley Field in Chicago. And that's where we are for this edition of Major League Baseball, presented by 989 Sports. Today, it's a battle from the National League Central, as it'll be the Cincinnati Reds taking on the Chicago Cubs. And hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here with you as we get set for what promises to be an entertaining ball game. Dave Campbell is by my side. And, partner, what's the one thing we can watch for in this one? Well, Matt, it's going to be interesting to see if these hitters can get to carry wood early on. He wasn't quite his dominating self last year, but when he brings his A game to the ballpark, he can be as good as they get. All right, partner, more from you later. But first, let's check out our starting lineups. First, for the visiting Cincinnati. Shortstop. And a look there at one of the newer ballparks in all the land. Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati as 989 Sports welcomes you to another edition of Major League Baseball. Today, it's a battle from the National League Central as it'll be the Houston Astros taking on the Cincinnati Reds. Hello again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here to take you through this one. With me, as always, is Dave Campbell. And, Soup, you've been doing this a long time. What catches your eye when you look at a matchup like this? Well, I can tell you one guy that will definitely have an impact in this game one way or the other, and that's Adam Dunn. I mean, this guy is strong, 6'6", 240, and 42 home runs were a career high, but he also led the majors in strikeouts. I guess that's a trade-off. All right, Dave, thanks. As now we get a look at the batting order for the visiting Houston Astros.
are in the heart of the Lone Star State, Houston, Texas, and Minute Maid Park, the site for this edition of Major League Baseball presented by 989 Sports. Today, it's a battle from the National League Central as it'll be the Milwaukee Brewers taking on the Houston Astros. And hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here with you as we get set for what promises to be an entertaining ball game. Dave Campbell is by my side. And, partner, what's the one thing we can watch for in this one? Well, Matt, right off the bat, the thing that leaps out at me is our pitching matchup. We've got two of the best in the business, and it's going to be interesting to see who gets the upper hand. All right, Dave, thank you. As now we get a look at how the visiting Milwaukee Brewers will win. The sun is starting to peek through and they've opened the roof here at Miller Park in Milwaukee as 989 Sports gets set for this afternoon edition of Major League Baseball. Today, it's a battle from the National League Central as it'll be the Pittsburgh Pirates taking on the Milwaukee Brewers. And hi again, everybody. Alongside Dave Campbell, I'm Matt Vaskersian as we get set to bring you the call of what should be a pretty good one here. And Soup, before we get going, what are you going to keep your eye on in this one? Matt, one guy I'd like to get another look at is Lyle Overbay. This guy really took off in his first year as a starter and led the National League in doubles with 53. Right now he's a gap hitter, but it wouldn't be out of the question to see that home run total spike this year. All right, Dave, thanks. And now we'll take a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Pittsburgh Pirates.
with the Allegheny River just behind us in right field. 989 Sports welcomes you to the beautiful PNC Park in Pittsburgh, PA for this afternoon edition of Major League Baseball. Today, it's a battle from the National League Central as it'll be the St. Louis Cardinals taking on the Pittsburgh Pirates. And hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here to bring you the action. With me, as always, is my partner Dave Campbell. And Dave, what leaps out at you when you look at this matchup? Matt, I'm pretty eager to get a look at young Jason Bay. Most people around baseball didn't get to see much of him last year as a rookie, but he put up some eye-popping numbers. Let's see how pitchers work him in season number two. All right, Dave, thanks. As now that brings us to our starting lineups in this one. First, for the video... This afternoon, Dave and I come to you from the gateway to the west, St. Louis, Missouri, as venerable Bush Stadium is the host for this edition of Major League Baseball, presented by 989 Sports. We've got a good matchup in store for you here, as it'll be the Arizona Diamondbacks taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. And hello again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here to call balls and strikes alongside me, my partner Dave Campbell. And Dave, what should we keep an eye on in this matchup? Well, Mark Mulder seemed to be on the fast track for the Cy Young Award last year until he fell apart the last six weeks. My sense is it was just an aberration, so I'd expect to see a strong Mulder pitch deep into this one. All right, Dave, thanks. And that'll lead us right to our starting lineups as we check out the order for the visiting...
Good look right there inside Bank One Ballpark here on a hot afternoon in Phoenix as 989 Sports coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today, it's a showdown from the NL West as it'll be the Colorado Rockies taking on the Arizona Diamondbacks. And hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here to bring you the action. With me, as always, is my partner Dave Campbell. And Dave, what leaps out at you when you look at this matchup? Well, Javier Vasquez got off to a fast start in the Big Apple last year, only to post an ERA over six in the last three months of the season. He's obviously a much better pitcher than those numbers would indicate, so expect him to bounce back here. All right, Dave, thank you. As now we get a look at our starting lineup for the visiting Colorado Rockies here. Shortstop. Clint Barmans. Denver, Colorado. We get a look there at Coors Field, a site for this edition of Major League Baseball, presented by 989 Sports. Today, it's a showdown from the NL West, as it'll be the Los Angeles Dodgers taking on the Colorado Rockies. And hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here to bring you the action. With me, as always, is my partner Dave Campbell. And Dave, what leaps out at you when you look at this matchup? Well, obviously, any time you play at Coors Field, your pitchers have to concentrate on doing one thing, and that's keep the ball down. No surprise that it's the best hitter's park in the history of Major League Baseball, so avoiding the cheap home runs will be critical. All right, Dave, thank you. And as we move closer to the first pitch, let's first check out the Dodgers starting line. With the San Gabriel Mountains in the hazy distance, a good look from high above Dodger Stadium in Los Angeles as 989 Sports gets set to bring you another edition of Major League Baseball. Coming up, it's a battle for National League bragging rights in Southern California as it'll be the San Diego Padres taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. 
And hello again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here to call balls and strikes alongside me, my partner Dave Campbell. And Dave, what should we keep an eye on in this matchup? Well, Matt, we got ourselves a marquee pitching matchup here, so we could be looking at a real duel here. I think the key is going to be getting a run or two on the board in the early going because they almost certainly will be hard to come by. All right, Dave, first pitch moments away. Let's get to our starting lineup for the visiting San Diego Padres. He was not going to be denied in his quest for three bases. Mark Loretta will get his first cuts here. And a good look at one of the newest ballparks in all of baseball. We're at Petco Park in downtown San Diego as 989 Sports gets you ready for this edition of Major League Baseball. Today, it's a showdown from the NL West as it'll be the San Francisco Giants taking on the San Diego Padres. And hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here with you as we get set for what promises to be an entertaining ball game. Dave Campbell is by my side. And, partner, what's the one thing we can watch for in this one? Jake Peavy sort of flies under the radar a bit when you talk about the best young pitchers in baseball. But here's a guy that had a major league low 2.27 ERA. I mean, that's Bob Gibson-esque. He'll be a tough assignment here. All right, Dave. And as you see, it's time for our starting lineups as we check out the order for the visiting San Francisco Giants. With the blue waters of San Francisco Bay sparkling in the background, there's a good look at beautiful SBC Park as 989 Sports welcomes you to another edition of Major League Baseball. Interleague Baseball set to come your way as it'll be the Baltimore Orioles taking on the San Francisco Giants. 
And hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here to bring you the action. With me, as always, is my partner Dave Campbell. And Dave, what leaps out at you when you look at this matchup? Well, Matt, Jason Schmidt fell off a bit down the stretch last year, so it's going to be interesting to see if he's back where he was early in the year. But when he's hitting his spots, he can get by just using two pitches as fastball and changeup. All right, David, now let's get to our starting lineup for the visiting Baltimore Orioles. Nine sports coverage is on the air where tonight we come to you from the Motor City, Detroit, Michigan. Comerica Park, the site for this edition of Major League Baseball. Straight ahead, the best and brightest from Major League Baseball have converged in one place as it'll be the National League All-Stars taking on their counterparts from the American League. And hi again, everybody. Alongside Dave Campbell, I'm Matt Vaskersian as we get set to bring you the call of what should be a pretty good one here. And, Soup, before we get going, what are you going to keep your eye on in this one? Well, as we all saw in Houston last year, anything can happen when you assemble the best players from each of the two leagues. Generally, the All-Star game is about individual effort, so let's see which players can shine above all others. All right, Dave, and now let's take a look at how the National League stars line up in the... 